C tutorial series. So in the previous sessions, we have seen what are the important environment variables in Cybers AC. So the next topic is like what are the system or uh, default databases we have in Cybers. Okay. So AC that is Adaptive Server Enterprise. Uh, it's you know, again uh, come up with the like default databases like Master Model TameDB, SIP System Prox, SIP System DB, and uh, what are the optional databases we'll see. Okay. So in general, what is database? Okay. So if you click here, uh, we'll see. Yes. So in general, database contain all the data and objects that are needed for the applications. Okay. So most of the physical space of the deep databases are taken by the table users. Okay. In Sybase database, the Sybase basic unit of disaster recovery. So database is a basic recovery unit. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, so whenever th is there any kind of a failure happens or a disaster happened so we can restore or you know re recover the databases uh, if required yes the next is yes we can backup and restore this database at the database level only of course we can take uh, the data uh, table level uh, or no backup as well which, which is a bcp operations we can simply bcp out and bcp in we can perform if required AC restores all the information necessary for its own proper operations within a special system databases. Okay, now we'll see. Uh, so these are the system databases or the default databases. Uh, so master is the uh, again a system database model, tame DB, SIP system prox, SIP system DB, and optional database. We'll see. So what is master? Okay, so master is like. Uh, store the information about all the user user databases devices objects and system table entries okay uh, it also controls the operation of this uh, adaptive server enterprise okay uh, we can call it as a brain of a cyber ac i would say so master database contain entirely the master devices and cannot be expanded onto any other device we'll see so when you install any cyber instance so default devices created we'll see those also okay so next is the important database or system database is a model so it's a template okay so whenever we create the any user database it will act as a template okay and it contains some system database uh, system tables i'm sorry it, it contains some system tables which are copied into the user table databases whenever wherever we create the database okay we'll see those system tables as well so right now just try to understand what are the default or system databases we have so next important database is tamdb as name so it's a temporary database okay we'll see so whenever there is kind of a you know, query is running okay so this this tamdb you know, act as a, like a, a workspace for them okay to perform segregate functions aggregate functions um <clears throat> uh lots of queries uh, you know uh, use the tmdb we can we'll see those while you know working with their performance and tuning uh, how to find out the queries running and how much space they are accumulating okay yes so it's a work area or a temporary database of, uh, in, in uh, aac uh, of course uh, now aac supports multiple tmdb so you, we can often see in any of the production environment there are multiple tmdbs and yes so there always a tame db sa uh, the sa is a system administrator user which is you know again mapped to the tame db sa okay so whenever there is a, any kind of a um, you know uh, system uh, you know server hung state uh, a person can log in or user or dba can log in um, okay with the sa account or respect to bind account and you know can see and can perform the operations if required we'll see those those scenarios as well so each time adaptive server started tamdb is recreated okay so and it's again it's again the it will you know again um, uh, rebuild from the model itself okay so yes whenever now so the tamdb shares uh, okay now the tamdb uh, the uh, space on the tamdb is shared with the, all the users on the all the users in the databases present okay so large or many simultaneous sorts of sub queries aggregate function that's what like the so what is the use of tmdb so uh, there are many simultaneous sorts operations uh, sub queries aggregate functions group 
group by clause uh, we can you know you uh, know will be used uh, by the tmdb itself so when a user in a database execute a system pro store procedure so any system procs like uh, any procedure like S now there are exa set of examples of system uh, you know procedure sp who sp help sp help db sp space used sp help text so this is the example uh, for the you no know, system uh, store procs of course there are, there are you can find in the user database of uh, uh, the user defined store proc so what happen when you execute any sp it will check the if it is present in the current uh, session of the database okay where you are executing if it is not there it will you know going to check into sip system procs database if it is not there then it will look into the master okay uh, whenever you done any kind of a change uh, in any of the store procedure which is present in the sip system procs it is recommended to take a database backup okay the next is sip system db uh, which is again a kind of a default database it's used for the uh, distributed uh, transaction okay whenever there are the distributed transactions happening on a server this particular database you know comes into picture okay and next is optional database so what are the optional database we have we have sip security pubs2 pubs3 dbccdb and sip mgmtdb so sip security is used again for the auditing purpose you can you know configure this database we'll see uh, you know in what we have in install master from there we can see what are the optional database also okay so we'll see this in more you know, uh, cover in later part pubs2 pubs3 these are the again default you know optional database again used for the practice purpose um, so you can configure it easily okay so it's 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 are present in the um, in installer itself you can find out and under the bin folder okay we have a dbcc db uh, it's again a kind of a database which which is used again in the maintenance purpose it will check the you know logic logical and physical consistency of a database sip mgmt db is again used for this job scheduling purpose okay so yes these are the you know uh, system or default databases in cyways ac so in, in any interview like for any uh, level of interview this will be a questions asked by the interviewer uh, what are the default database or system databases we have in cyways ac and their roles what is their functions okay I hope this help. If you uh, find any difficulties, to you know, you can drop a questions in in the comment section. Okay, thank you.